Hello and welcome. We're back for some more modern again today. Today I want to play a little bit of an interesting deck list. So this is a Sultai Fairies slash Ninja kind of deck. It's mostly blue black. That's the main core of the deck. But then we're playing Ice Fang Kotal and Assassin's Trophies are green spells. Uh, we're playing Ingenious Infiltrator, which is the main ninja part of the deck, which whenever a ninja deals damage to a player, we draw a card. Excuse me. We also have four cryptics, three mana leaks, three s or four snaps, four spells that are sprite, uh, four ice wing codals, four fa fairy seers, four ops, four fatal pushes, and four inquisitions. We then have a spell pierce, pa force negation, trophies, surgical thoughtsies, two plague engineer, which seems pretty good, and then a bunch of light lights. That is our deck. 21 lands. We're again a snow based deck. With one snow covered forest, two prismatic vistas, four deltas, one tomb, four misty rainforests, one breeding pool, one watery grave. So we'll see. Um, yeah. We're going to hop right in and we'll be back in just a minute. Hello and welcome. On. We're here on the play for round number one. Um, this hand seems fine. This is going to give us a watery grave. A little awkward having snow covered forest, but I think it's fine. Two Kotals, a Spell Stutter Sprite, and Mana Leak, and it seems pretty good. Plus the fact that Inquisition is like the only thing we got to play at Sorcery Speed is pretty nice. Um, our Threats, all being able to come down during their turn is pretty great. Alright, so they have an Inquisition of their own, Liliana, Scavenging News, Tarmogoyf. Alright, we're going to take the Inquisition here. Um, at the moment, these don't have Death Touch. But, I think that's fine. Uh, we're going to be able to counter this Liliana. So we'll just pressure her, mainly, too. Alright, so they drew that. Alright, that's the line they drew. Let's draw a second spell starter sprite here. Alright, Fatal Push is also pretty good. Alright, so we will most likely just go Ice Fang Kotal, hoping to draw into a land. They'll probably play Tarmogoyf. Ooh, that Blood Braid Elf's a little scary. Not so much Liliana, but the Blood Braid's a little scary. And Black Leaf Fliss. Alright, so we know the full contents of their hand still. Scavengings. Yep, I figured that'd be their first play. That would definitely have been where I would have led. At the moment, Scavenging isn't very good, so... Kotal triggers, draws Cryptic Command. That's a card that's not going to help us very much. We draw a Misty Rainforest. Alright, that's cool, because that can get us an island here. Yeah, we'll attack for one. So this can get us an island so we can Mana Leak and push. Although I'm not sure I actually want to push... We'll see. Alright, so we still know the five cards in their hand. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, we gotta fetch first. Yep, counter it. And I think we just push it to be mana efficient here. Another land? Alright. Well, that's not terrible. Yep. Well, yeah, we'll top them both. I mean, if we have to spell stutter sprite this turn, we'll put one to the bottom, or we'll end up shuffling one away. But, if we don't get spell stutter sprite this turn, we do get to, uh, like, if we Ice Fang Kotal, we'll get both of them, and we'll have five lands. So. Uh, this does kind of suck, because we can't Crypt Command the Bloodbraid Elf, and we know they can cast it. So, currently one unknown in their hand. That's the Swamp they played. Ren and six. Alright, we're going to counter that. Hmm. 
The reason for it is, is it can pick down it can pick down our entire board. It becomes a big Tarmogoyf. Which we're not really that afraid of. Draw for turn. We'll play the Prismatic Vista. Alright. We'll attack here for five. And depending on what they actually hit off of the Blood Braid, we're probably just going to Kotal, draw the other land, fetch for another island. Blood Braid off of Stomping Grounds. Alright, Cascades into Liliana, the last hope. Well, crap. Alright, that I gotta kill. Yep, that does suck. We're going to take 8 here, go down to s uh, 7. Uh-oh, Thoughtseize? On Earth. Alright, that's interesting. 7 me. I think they should have done that post combat but whatever all right so they are playing like super friends over here all right, let's go fairy seer i'm actually gonna keep the codal on top here and i'm gonna attack with these two because we're gonna play another codal and block with it and then technically, if you want to, we could actually play a second Kotal in the same turn. So. Let's see what they got. Yep. Plusing here is not that great for them. Ice Fang, draw another Ice Fang, we'll fetch with Vista here, we're going to grab a forest, we don't have another forest, so we're just going to grab a swamp, and we're going to discard the Ice Fang Kotal, cool, 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 block there, Block there. Yep. Take the. And you can eat the creature to gain some life. Oh, you're just gonna eat value eat spells out of my graveyard. It's fine too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. Draw for turn. Something good. The fourth Ice Fang Kotal is quite good, actually. Put Liliana to one. Oh, I guess I should have Kotaled. And then... Yeah, I guess I should have Ice Fang Kotaled and then, uh... Then attacked in case I hit a Infiltrator. Yep. Discarding cards. If they attack, we'll just block and kill it. Nope. Alright. Alright, we're gonna opt. And we'll take another opt, I guess. Opting. Bottom land. Look. Alright, that's probably not getting cast. Actually, let's go there. Kill the Liliana. They're now at 9. And we have a Death Touch blocker to block this. Plus, if they draw like Lightning Bolt or Colgon's Command, we can. The Colgon's Command we probably just die to, right? Like. And Colgon's Command is just too much for us to beat.
Mm -hmm. All right, well. Uh, yeah, well, like I said, I think uh, Colgon's command is just too much for us to, or, yeah, some of the Colgon's command is too much to beat. Rager Ravine is too much for us to beat. They, they have a lot of draws. They're just way too much for us to actually reasonably beat here. Um... Blood Braid? No, nope. Activate Rage Rain, okay. Yep. Yep. Triggers. Fairy Seer blocks. Mm hmm. Uh, Alright. Pick this up. Hit you, draw a card. Cool, another card we're not going to play. Oh, Alright, we want both of those. Mm -hmm. Well, if they cast a spell, they don't get to activate this, so... That's where it is. If they want to resolve this, they don't get to activate this. Very simple. Alright. Alright, so we got this one. We win this one. Oh wait, no, they can gain they can gain two life. Never mind. I'm dumb. So we're still going to attack for two here. Yeah. And... Yeah, we're going to gain a bunch of life off of this, actually. That's going to suck. Let's see, can I go... Okay. When they go to eat something, we'll go cryptic command. Um, return target permanent draw card. Bounce this. Yeah. Turn this to my hand, draw a card. Come on, opponent. That resolves. Oh, we put Snapcaster to the bottom. I'm an idiot. Yep. All right. We're dead. We put Snapcaster to the bottom. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm an idiot. All right. So Jund... Um, I guess these are what I want to jund. Maybe. Hmm. Counter spells aren't amazing against them. They, I mean, they're good, but I think I'd rather have discard and removal than. Bunch of mana links and cryptics. I think trimming on our some of our creatures is okay since this will realistically never get through their stuff. Yeah, so if we would have had Snapcaster Major, we could have snapped, pushed, and then most likely won the next turn. Dang it, if I would have tapped that correctly, we'd have been fine. I should have put the Snapcaster Mage on top, drawn the Snapcaster Mage, and had Cryptic Command underneath it. Ah, oh, it's such a punt. Oh well, we're going to probably lose because of that now. All 
All right. On the play here again after a huge punt costing us that match. I'm going to keep this. This hand's great. Uh, we're going to overgrown soon with this. Um, and the reason we're so aggressively fetching our green source is because Ice Fang Kotal is just one of the best creatures in our deck. Nope, what am I doing? I'm not skip I'm not passing turn. Overgrown Tombe. I'm gonna take their Inquisition. We can fight both the other cards. Blood stain. Land. Duplicate push. All right. I'd really like to draw a mana leak. Or not mana leak, a land. That way next turn we can go pass. Mana leak, the first threat they play. Go snap. Inquisition. It's a swamp they have yet. Land. Son of a bitch. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. We technically didn't need to land this turn. So we know all but three cards in their hand. We know half their hand. Yeah, so I mean, here's the problem. If we don't draw a land, Full is going to blow up our only land. And that's going to be bad. Land. That works. Yep. Yuck. Well, that sucks. I don't know how good that card is, but feels like we're about to find out. Oh. No play. All right. All right. Well, that's good. That's something I like seeing. Start the beatdown game plan here. If they want to turn our Snapcaster into a land for us, we're happy about that. Mm hmm. Alright, so we're going to wait and see what they get off Blood Raid before we decide if we're going to counter it. Yeah, I think Snapcaster is powerful enough. We want to keep it. Plus, we can technically still snap Mana Leak this season, Pyromancer. Also, Thoughtseize, which is a good card. It's opt. We'll draw that and play it. Yeah, we're gonna sit back. We're not gonna attack. We're at twelve here after our thought sees. I mean if they want to invest in abrupt decay or whatever into killing our snapcaster, we're okay with that. Alright, they drew a land. Abrupt decay. Trophy. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool with me. So this might feel like a little bit of a waste of a Snapcaster just to opt. But I think the way we're going to win this match is by getting to our better stuff in our deck. We're going to bottom the Thoughtseize. Well, that's not a better draw at all. That's actually a terrible draw as well. 
Uh, this is why I usually brought out my discard in the mirror match with Jund. Alright, they're just gonna cast it. Alright, well, I guess they're gonna take it and then we're gonna. Actually, no, let's just hold it. Let's hold our Inquisition until they, for whatever reason, don't play something. Alright, another land. I'm going to hold the land just so we can trigger Revolt if we need to. Oh my god. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 lands drawn. That's pretty rough. Yeah, now they're going to do it. Ah. Yes, how could I forget the... Uh, Season Pyromancer ability from the graveyard. I did forget. Hmm. The fact that we didn't draw anything off of our Snapcaster going Snap Opt does feel terrible. But they're also not really doing a whole lot either themselves here. Yeah, I'm going to take one here. Spell Stutter Sprite. Alright, well, that's fine. We're in position. Bolt. Sure. I didn't want to bolt because I didn't particularly want to give them a Spell Stutter Sprite target. But, or not Spell Sprite, Abrupt Decay target, but I guess maybe it would have been better just to counter the bolt. Right, we're gonna kill that. Play that. Fetch this vista. Grabbing an island. I'm gonna opt. Kotal's great. That's oh, not. Let's just hold it back, I guess. Yep, they're at ten. So I mean, they got they got a lot of time left here. I mean, they keep drawing lands. They're not gonna have much time though. All right, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta go, Kotal, hopefully into another creature. Blech. Well, they spell start a sprite can counter something. I mean, Jun, the majority of their deck is two drops, so. Oh, it's X or less, right? Yeah, so I can still count one, count one drops. Not terrible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, our draws weren't gonna be very great from this point on. All right. So I actually do think I want to bring this back in and maybe. No. I think we're fine the way we are. Maybe trim an inquisition. Maybe we just want the five discard spells instead of six. Uh, although with Fulminator, it kind of makes me want to have. Ah, with Fulminator, I think I want it back in. I'd really like to know where they have. how they found room for. Everything they have in the deck. All right, we'll keep it. Throwing discard spell here would suck. Nope. Okay. Nice. Uh, we're grabbing basic snow swamp. All right. Unearth fulminator bolt. Unfortunately, I have to take unearth. I hope we draw a mana leak. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we gotta draw Mana Link next turn, otherwise... Oh no, we can just play Basics. I'm an idiot. Full Mirror only works on non-basic lands. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal at all. Yeah. Not a big deal at all. I just... Duh! Come on, Joey, you gotta know how your work cards work. Mm-hmm. Draw Lily. Nope, you draw Fulminator. Alright, so two unknown in hand. Ice Fang Kodal. All right. So. Yep, yeah, with it on the stack, we'll go to push this with Revolt. And then we'll get Breeding Pool. And we'll pass. So we get Revolt Trigger by holding priority after the crack of the land. This way also we only have basics in play, which means they can't full meter any of our lands off. Confidant resolves. They play this Blood Crypt tapped, I'm assuming. Yep. Alright, and we are gonna kill this Confidant. I'd like to cantrip into another land here. Alright, nice. This way. Do I want to snap Thoughtseize here? I think I do. We're going to push this now. Crack this. Grab Watery Grave. Snap. Pushing Kotal. Yep. So we know one card in hand. So at least we'll get a Lightning Bolt if nothing else. Alright. Thoughtseize. We'll take the Liliana. Um, the reason we're taking Liliana is she is more of a threat. Because we can't kill her with a Fatal Push. And a Lightning Bolt deals 3 damage or kills our Snapcaster. Which, I mean, we, we don't want our Snapcaster to die. We want to start beating him down since we are at 9. Ren and six. Ooh, that's a problem. And kill our Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. Might be in trouble. Interesting choice to tap themselves off of red, though. Alright, Snapcaster's good here. Uh, we're gonna opt. I'm gonna bottom that and draw another opt. Great. Alright. All right, let's see. Hmm. I mean, Judge Walker is pretty strong. I mean, Jun's always been strong with, with a lot of Planeswalkers and such. Yep. All right, we got the Fiddle Push in our hand that will kill this, so we're just going to go and snap, grab, uh, opt. And we're gonna opt. We'll see what we get. Crypt's command. I'm gonna bottom that one. Thought seize. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Well, I mean, spell starter strike is good. Bolt my snap. Actually, awkwardly enough, this actually is exactly what we needed. Yeah, actually, Spell Sword Sprite's great here, actually. It counters the bolt. Now we get to put it to one. They can either take it down to, to kill it, or they can kill our Snapcaster next turn. Which either... Or they can take it down to kill our Snapcaster, and then get in the land back next turn. Which either way means, unless they draw another creature, we'll be able to present enough damage to kill it.
Plus, we're going to get an opt next turn. Liliana? I don't care about Fulminator, that's fine. Yeah, we're a little beyond the part of this match where I really care about a Fulminator Mage, to be honest. Let's see. And we'll draw land. Unblocked attacker you control to hand for this card on the battlefield. Okay. I like it. Yep. Yep, pick it up. Put a ninja into play. That's fine. Yep, take Ren down. And now we got a lot of power and we got Spellstutter Sprite in our hand to counter one drops. Um, I think we're alright. The awkward thing here is I don't want to cut us off of Oh, and they're done. Alrighty. Whew. All right, for punting round one, that was sure a grind fest. Um, oh, my God. I can't believe we won that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that match. That was um, – I do apologize for game one, but it got better. All right, anyway, guys, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we are for round number two. Um, hopefully we won't punt round uh, the first game like we did there. Um, uh, this is five lands, but we get a s bunch of scries. I'm going to keep it. Like, if we get a ninja on turn two – this card hand is probably going to be really good. Excuse me. Alright. Very Seer. I mean, I think these are both actually good. Alright, a Creeping Tar Pit. That's pretty basic. I'm going to opt to draw. I'm going to scry two fresh new ones. This is a situation where Fairy Miscreant might actually be... Boo, jeez Louise. Alright. Top, top, I guess. This is a situation where Fairy Miscreant might actually be better. Because um, it just lets you draw a card. Alright, Blue Black tells me they're probably a... Control deck, which means push, push is probably not great against, but it does tell me Inquisition's probably fine against them. Also, they could be something like what we are, too. Alright, we're going to Inquisition here. Take a look at what they're doing. They are Wilderness Reclamation. Guess we take Remand? It's like the one card we actually kind of don't want to see. Hmm. And that blue sun, like, they, their hand is essentially right now just Wilderness and Surgical. They have the mana to cast the Wilderness, which is what sucks. Alright, this does suck because they get to shuffle away our Snapcaster that's on top. And they get to see what's in our hand. But I think it's still fine. I don't think it really makes a difference. field. Alright, we really need to draw a Mana Leak. Not an Ice Fang Codal. Well, I'm going to Codal hoping to draw a Mana Leak. Raymond? 
Holy shit. Of course you draw the card I took out of your hand. That's bogus. This is why I, this is why I hate magic sometimes. Like you discard spell them and they draw the exact cards you took out of their hand. Like they're obviously that's not the end of the world. Like, okay, it's not that big of a deal. But the problem here is now they get to go ahead and resolve this wilderness reclamation, and that's pretty bad for us. Yep, I'm going to fetch an island. We're going to go Kotal. Draw my... Okay, Spell Starter Sprite. Wow! And we almost have almost have four fairies. Sure, Spiral put the Mystery Rainforest into play. Yep. Two unknown. Sure. Basic swamp. Uh. I just want to leave the spell search Brian, because you want to counter something they play. Like, the shitty part here is they can just blue sun zenith for a shit ton. I think we're just dead. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Draw 11 cards. Yeah, like, we're just dead now, right? Like, there's not even a point. They're gonna just about to draw 11 cards. Yeah, drawing 11 cards here is pretty much the end of this. Oh, they're just gonna Mystic Teachings for... Alright, they're gonna go get... Take an extra turn and do that stuff. I don't want to. I really don't want to sit here and play through that, so we're not going to. Um, I'm gonna bring in all of this. These nine cards come in. These come out. Um, those four can come out. I would trim like that because Crypt Command's a little slow. Actually, you know what? No, Crypt Command's fine. Let's take on Inquisition. Inquisition doesn't take the doesn't take most of the stuff we really need to take. Let's try this. We're taking out cards that just aren't very advanced are very effective. And bringing in a bunch of hate. This hand would be great if like these two Crypt Commands were islands. Alright, this hand's basically what we already had, but we have at least a, ma a mana leak. I think we'll keep that on top. We're going to draw it next turn. I think Snapcast is good enough uh, that we just are okay doing nothing this turn. Yeah. I'm just going to get two islands here. That seems weird, I know, but uh, do I want both of these? I think I do, right? I think I want both of them. I'm actually going to hold the opt because I know the two next two cards I'm drawing I want. So the important thing to have the fourth land here is that was a Snapcaster Mana Leak. Um, stuff like that. Um, and honestly, if they play something next turn that we needed to counter, and for some reason Mana Leak wasn't going to do it, we could still cat Hardcast Force. Go Spiral's fine. We're going to 
counter. We're gonna try to mentally search. Alright, dispel happens. I'm not gonna pitch to counter search. It's really not what I want to spend my turn doing. We are gonna play that though, and we're gonna attack for one here. And pass turn. I think I missed an attack last turn. We could have forced it off of the opt. But, I don't know. That doesn't feel super good. Oof. Draft turn. Oh, there's snow covered island. All right. They could pop Blast Zone. That'd be a little aggressive. Mm. What do you got? Snapcaster? Yep, Gross Spiral. I mean, I guess we could have countered the Snapcaster Mage. Maybe that was right. Yeah, I guess we should have countered the Snapcaster, right? Yeah, that was probably silly of me. I should have countered the Snapcaster Mage with Spellster Sprite. I don't know what I'm saving it for. I'm actually just not gonna. I'm gonna leave it back to block. This one I'm gonna counter. Now, they could blow this blast zone to stop me from countering it. And if they do, that does suck. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep, take three. I'm going to snap opt here. I guess cutting my all my pushes and stuff was a terrible idea. I'll draw that. Guess we get breeding pool with this. No, let's grab an island. Come on, opponent. What are you doing? Ugh. I mean, I think we're just dead now. They got searched for his content. Yeah, let's just... I guess we'll take another draw step, but I think we're just done. Like, yeah. I'm just going to move on. All right, here we are for round three. And this hand just doesn't really do anything. It's got a removal spell, but it's got two ingenious infiltrators that I can't really put into place. So we're going to mulligan. All right, this hand's better. We got an opt, spell stir sprite. Snapcaster's great on top. All right, discard spell here would be okay. would be fine. Aether Vile, so we're playing against Merfolk. That means one of two things. A, this push is going to be good. B, the Spell Star Sprite is probably not going to be good. So I think this Polidel is getting us an Overgrown Tomb. Blue 
blue red okay blue red merfolk sounds good Mm-hmm. Overground tomb. Push it. Alright, I'm gonna put a one one into play they're gonna put curse catcher into play, sack it and counter it. Yeah. That figures. Why are we lagging all of a sudden? Come on, don't do this again to me, MTGO. There we go. I don't know why I'm fetching now. We're going to pass. I think I'm gonna actually end a turn place spell stutter instead of opting. Yeah. Yep, take three. I mean, they only have two cards left in hand, so they probably don't have t a whole lot going on. But. Alright, what are they putting into play? Alright. We're just going to do it now. This will give Island Walk as well. Yeah. We're gonna kill this one. Yep. I really wonder what the red's for. Sparbug Bluff Canal is really good because Choke is something that's frequently played against Merfolk and it's really good against them. Yeah, let's go and tap something down. That really sucks. We could have mastered it from a Pearl Trident did it. The Trident did it. The, the Trident did Or we could have Spell Starter Sprite did it. Alright, we're taking eight because we can't block. And now I think we're just dead. So we literally have to draw the right cards in the exact order. Bottom that. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, because we can't even snap opt here to try and draw out of it. All right. Killing creatures, that's what we got to do here. Plague Engineer doesn't actually kill a lot of their stuff, but it is better than some things. I'm going to cut all these cryptics, and I'm going to cut a mana leak. Let's just cut two mana leaks. Let's just cut like that. I think that's fine. Counter spells aren't great against Merfolk. Even if they don't draw the cavern, hitting Aether Wild is pretty bad. Um, at least Spell Stutter strikes a body. But still, I feel like this is fine like this. So through playing Modern Horizons, Ice Fang Kodo has got to be hands down my favorite creature. So, all right, we're going to see how these uh, plague engineers do. Naming a creature type. All right, we're going to play first. All right, well, I'm going to keep it. This hand's got Fatal Push. It's got uh, Fairy Zero to open up on turn one with. Watery Grave. We got a Snapcaster, Spell Starter Sprite. Fairseer can also help us find some more lands. Hmm. I'm going to bottom both. 
I think we're just looking for more lands right now. Aether Vial. Nope, just a Curse Catcher, eh? It's pretty good, actually. Alright. Blocks. Pick this back up. Hit you for two. Draw a card. Yep. I like it. Excuse me, sorry. Ooh, Inquisition's a good one. Yep, so... Alright, nothing just yet. Attack for one. Alright, Harbinger Tide bouncing my ninja. That's fine. Let's go see her. Scries. Bottom. We're going to top the push. Play this, and I'm going to pass. Alright, let's see. Muta Vault. Taking three. We could block, but I think I want to dispel Stutter Sprite. Encounter a two drop if they go to play it. If not, we'll probably Codal. I'm going to spell Stutter Sprite. Yep. Oof. That's annoying. So they're playing Lightning Bolts, eh? Alright. Well, that definitely goes in the It's Annoying as Hell category. We're going to pass. We're going to take a huge ass hit next turn, it looks like. Hmm. Yep, activate Muta Vault. Really? Kill your land. Play Ice Fang Codal. Yep, draw my card. Block your one ones. Yep. Sweets. All right, draw for turn. Inquisition. Take Lord. All right, let's... Hmm. This is actually kind of awkward because the Vendelian click is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Can't play the vial.
Alright. Alright, well, we're going to Snapcaster here. Target push. I'm going to push this one to avoid taking damage, even though it leaves him with an extra lord. And then we're going to go ahead and go Fairy Seer. Bottom, top. Push, kill you. Pass the turn. So then I have Vendillion click, and we also know we're in a decent spot here, even if they click us. Attack with one. I really don't think it'd be worth their time to block with a Vendellion click. But that's just me. Trickster's fine. Double block. I mean, we'll go ahead and kill the Lord regardless. I don't know what else they think that the a fairy seer is gonna do. Um yeah, I'm gonna just pass. You know we have a push on top. Give me the vault. Alright. Wait. What happened to that push that was on top? Oh, that was two turns? Oh, that will I already drew that push, right? That was that push? Okay. Let's go here, name Merfolk. And obviously, we name fairies, this thing just dies. But. Obviously, we grabbed it to name Merfolk, not fairies. Yeah, I mean, you can choose to take my Opt or my Ingenious Infiltrator. Because that much of our deck is flying, I feel like it's okay for us to not play named Fairy. Plus, is this two-sided? I don't know, it's just our opponent's control. I do like the art on it, though. Very Plague Engineer. Like, that's what, like, what a lot what I'd say. Like, a machine android or for someone wearing armor creating a infectious plague killing off really you played yourself excuse me guys by the way I don't know if I don't know if you hear that burp I do apologize A lord here would suck for us pretty bad. Make these back two twos and would allow them to probably island walk through. Uh, 
is a lord. Alright, we're gonna ops. Bottom. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Now we're just dead. I guess technically not yet, we're not. No. I guess we gotta go here. I guess you're at least a blocker. Then we're gonna get a trophy this. And we just hope they don't draw another lord. Guess that's the plan. Also, to note, we can play around something like Curse Catcher. Um, yeah. This is tough. This is only game two, I think, too. Ah. <laughs> uh, Alright, activate Muta Vault. That's fine. Attacks. Kill that one. I mean, again, this we're dead if they have a if they have another lord in hand. Move the blocks. Yeah, and if they didn't have a lord, we still have a plague engineer. So. Codal. Um, no, let's not risk attacking right now. I think it's too much of a risk to try and attack with Plague Engineer. Like, oh, they had a, was that, was a land, was it, oh my god, a land was in their hand, that's what it was. I didn't realize that, I'm an idiot. Yep, I'm an idiot. It's a dead card, so that's fun. Pick it back up. Ninjutsu. Draw a card. Well, that's not a terrible card to draw. Like, again, the terrifying thing here is, like, we're just super dead to, like, literally Merfolk then Lord. Although, importantly enough, this Snapcaster actually gives us some longevity against that. You got a Counterspell? Cool. Alright, well, we lose. Yeah. Alright, welcome everyone here we're for round four. Possibly our final round. This hand is a keep. It's okay. I mean, we're going to be pretty much all on basics this game, and we'll probably be short of color, but I think it's still good enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. ruh ru oh What? I was going to go Inquisition this turn. I wasn't going to go Fairy Seer. Whatever. I don't know if, it, if this is even good. We'll keep it on top. It's got to be good, right? Like, <laughs> it's got to be good. They're an Aether Vault deck. Everything they have is going to be cheap. Oh, they're probably Black Red Goblins? Oh, Jesus. They're Black Red Goblins. That will suck.
So, so far from Modern Horizons, Force of Negation has been great. Ice Fang Kotal has been great. Um, I don't know what the second card was, but we're not getting, we're not keeping it. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That was probably actually loud in your ear. Um, I've been trying to whistle lately, like trying to learn how to whistle well or better. Um, I'm terrible at it at the moment. So I've been practicing. So now I've started like randomly to start whistling. Unintendedly so. Excuse me. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, you can push my tiny fellow. Hey, Koo the uh, what in God's green earth? All right, we're taking Legion War Boss. Oh my God, Chieftain War Chief. Oof, oof. Perf. All right, we're gonna Inquisition them again, and we're gonna play Ice Fang Kotal. This time we'll take, I think, the... Probably the Chieftain, I think, is more scary. Hopefully draw a regular fetch land. Mm-hmm. Rough turn. Nice. So you can go get a Watery Grave. Alright, so either way it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So I think I'm gonna take the Chieftain. Breeding pool. Ice Fang Codal draw card. Alright, another land. Well, this promoter's mag vista is getting us an island next turn for sure. Which will, thankfully enough, put us on death touch here, which means we can kill either of their attackers. Of course, they'll probably just bolt it, to be honest. It's actually like mono three drops, too. I mean, technically speaking, this does let us Snapcaster Inquisition to take one of the three drops. I'm just saying. Is that what we're going to do? I think that's what we're going to do, because these other cards in our hand don't really matter here. Yeah, we're going to have an island. Which one is actually weaker? You're both two twos. Alright, we're gonna position you. You know, I really do like the art for these full art snowlands. They do look very nice. Alright. So here I wouldn't be too surprised if they A bolt this and B play one of these other two. Yep. So this the thing is like Snapcast can only kill them for so much power and toughness. Alright, I'm assuming you're putting in play the mad auntie. Mmm <laughs> that sucks. This was reprinted, wasn't it? Probably grabbing a Siege Gang Commander here or something stupid that we can't really deal with. Nice, Cranko.
Yep. I think we're dead. Well, on the bright side, though, if we draw a fetal push, we can actually kill Cranko. So I guess we're not totally dead here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. All right, so we're not totally dead. We just don't feel like we're in a great spot. We'll definitely have to see. Alright, so they're going to their draw step here. Alright, so they've got to land. Reveal Goblin, uh, whatever his name is. Yep, they passed our turn. Draw Fatal Push. No, nope, we're going to go ahead and take the, uh, whatever. Yep, that guy. Play this. I guess we can bounce him and make him and then draw a card. And hope to draw something that can kill it. Guess that's something we can do. <laughs> that's great. I mean that does kill it. This will slow down. Just slow him down for a couple more turns. By a couple, I mean till for one more turn. Not not actually a couple. Actually, there are just like mono three drops here. They finally do a third land. Kotal. Draw me a card. This part where we die, right? This is the part where now we just die to uh, Krenko, the mob boss. I think we're just going to go to the next game. Like, yeah, Let's just go to the next game. We don't have a way of triggering a revolt except for them blocking for no reason. Alright. Yeah, we were, we were pretty dead. All right, we're going to bring in these guys. Maybe Thoughtseize is a consideration. Surgicals. Eh, maybe. Yeah, I guess let's try it like that. Like, the, the other thing is, like, they're a bunch of three drops, so they're not going to be able to empty their hand like, like 8 whack or a deck like that normally could. Although this deck is more 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 similar to, obviously not really like it, but is more similar to the Legacy version than previous versions of this and Modern have been. So that's something. Oh boy. Plague Engineer is interesting. I, I like it a lot, to be honest. That's cool. Creature, carrier, Frixian Plague. I like it. Do I actually have Engineered Plagues? I do not have Engineered pl uh, engineered Plague. I'm just going to see what it's... Uh, if it had flavor text on it. All right, we're going to be on the play here. We're going to mulligan. I'm going to keep this hand. Um, we're going to play a land, but we're not going to crack that first one. Uh, I would like to have a spell starter sprites in a play, able to be cast on to counter Vile on turn one. But that's not the world we live in. Very seer. Um, 
Yeah, we'll keep the land on top because we do want a third land. And the cool thing is we'll start getting to uh, uh, ninja beat down them. Uh, unless they beat our fairy. Or bolt our fairy. Another aether vial. Alright, well that does suck, but... Pick it up, ninjutsu. Are we getting bolted? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. Getting lightning bolted because that's where we want to be at. The second trigger off the fairy seer. All right, we're going to take the ops. All right, let's see. Hmm. All right. Sure. Sure, buddy, that sounds good. Uh, actually, should we have countered that? I guess we should have. We probably won't get much value out of the spell starter sprite. Yeah, I guess we should have countered it. I'm not used to playing the spell starter sprite, so, and I'm not used to, like, trying to protect our, like, crappy one-drops. Goblin Matron? Nope. That's a Goblin Matron, though. Mm-hmm. Flash. Let's see. That's shitty. We're just going to flash this out there. I'm not going to opt. I'm just going to draw my Snapcaster Mage. Oh, please kill Spellstar Sprite. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bottom it. Next year, shit's about to... Or next year. Next turn, shit's about to go down. Yep. Let's bring an opponent. Next turn. I will happily take two. Yep. Alright, you better have your lord in hand, opponent. Goblin's up in this bitch. Let's see what you got. I mean, obviously, if you had, like, a, a, lord, fa a lord to play, you would have just played it so you didn't lose two creatures. Yeah, Cranko. Yeah, Cranko's good. I like Cranko. Cranko's good. Now you're gonna get a Lord. Isn't there a four cost Lord? Trash mask? Trash something? Goblins are ugly as shit, man. All right, there's a lord. So we need to draw a fetch land and we can kill it. Although, to be honest, I think if we draw a fetch land, we're just going to kill this. Or not this, this. Like. Yeah. 
you know, nothing in our graveyard really exciting to snap back in. Yeah, I mean, you can attack. That's fine. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. That is, in fact, pretty good. Rough turn. All right, well, I'm going to get a snap, opt, push, and then probably die, so. That's exactly what I've been looking forward to doing. All right, so I know the video is not over yet, but I think we're pretty much dead here. Um, this deck just leaves a lot to be desired. Um, it's all of our creatures are pretty much bad, except for Snapcaster Mage and Kotal, and our mana base is super awkward. Like... Yeah. Chieftain. Mm -hmm. I should have Cryptic Command tapped, drawn. I'm an idiot. I missed that play. Anyway, alright guys, we're done for now. We're 1-3. and three. Um, Yeah, the deck was a cool idea. I like the ninja idea, but I think it just... We need more stuff that's built into this deck to be good. And I think... Um, even though I like think Kotal is probably the best part of this deck, you need just way more reasons than Kotal and Trophy to be green. I think you need to have some kind of better base. Like you're already like splashing black. You're like this mono blue deck splashing black for thoughts or for discard spells and push. So yeah, I I don't know. This deck just deck just doesn't feel very good. Uh, it feels super just kind of out there. Um, I'm going to still post this video because I think it's an interesting one. And the Jun match and nothing else I think is worth watching. I think it was pretty cool. But, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have a better ninja list or better uh, list like this, let me know. We'll try it out. I also don't think the removal package in this deck was good enough. Just Fatal Push, like, it's good, but it's just not good enough. Like, you need, you need other stuff. Like, the trophies are good in the sideboard, but I feel like... It's trying to be streamlined to deal with certain things. Um, I remember I found this list, to be honest. So, all right, guys. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.